In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Yes. So, so I, I know Botswana is a very peaceful country. Botswana is a very peaceful country. But uh, very soon it will be shaken. It will be shaken, Botswana. It will be shaken. So we must pray for Botswana in our prayers. Hallelujah. We must remember Botswana because there, will, there is a period when there will be turbulence in leadership and that turbulence might produce turbulence in their society. So we need to watch and pray for leadership. And we must pray that the leadership which is there, they receive humility from God so that they respect the leadership which was there. I'm just speaking in parables. So that the leadership which is there must respect the leadership which was there. Hallelujah. Yes, we must pray. Hallelujah. Because how you treat others, it determines how you will be treated by others. If you treat others with honor, other people as well, by the grace of God, will treat you with what? With honor. So whatever tension is taking place between very senior leaders in Botswana, the Spirit of God is saying it is not healthy for, for the Botswana nation. Hallelujah. So we must pray for, for these people to, to reconcile for these people to reconcile and to be in one accord. Hallelujah. We must pray for reconciliation in Botswana. Right now there is something which is in the pub public domain, which I don't want to repeat in this message. Uh, some tension between certain senior leaders in Botswana, the past and the present. God is saying it can be used by the enemy as a conduit to shake that nation. It's a, the Botswana is a bastion of peace and uh, economic stability. But the devil has always been raring to create disturbances and chaos in that country. In the past years failed, but now he has found a conduit. So any instability in leadership will, will cause that country to be unstable. And it may damage their economy. So. Let us pray for them. Hallelujah. Let us pray for them. Let us pray for Botswana. Look at your neighbor and say, pray for Botswana. Especially the leadership. To be united. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. So, that's the message which God is giving us. Botswana is our neighbor. I've got relatives in Botswana myself, some, some relatives. I've got lots of relatives in Botswana. Some of them, they grew up there, some they were born in Botswana, some of my relatives. Because there are historic links between Zimbabwe and Botswana. There are some people originally from Botswana who stay in Plumt or other parts of the country. And there are some people from Zimbabwe who now live permanently in what? In Botswana. So they are our brothers and sisters. So let us pray for them. For many years they've hosted thousands of Zimbabweans, though there were issues of xenophobia and so on in the past, but they've been patient with us throughout our problems. So we must not allow them to slide into the same because of leadership. So let us pray for leadership in Botswana, for you need among leaders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.